standing at 180 centimeters tall, weighing in at 72 and a half kilograms, the brain! Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, on to some physics. Basically, light travels as a transverse electromagnetic wave. I know that sounds very complex, but try to imagine waves in the ocean. I'm sure you guys will get that. <laughs> There's some few basic parts to a wave that I need to explain. This line right here is called equilibrium, and this illustrates particle vibration. They vibrate up and down, and the wave front, the wave actually travels perpendicular to the particle vibration. This line through the middle is called equilibrium, labeled EQ. The tops of the waves are called crests. The bottom of the wave, the lowest point, is called a trough. And the distance from equilibrium either to the trough of the or, or from equilibrium to the crest is called amplitude. And when two waves interfere, their amplitudes are altered, as will be explained by j Raw. There are two types of interference, constructive and destructive interference. Like I explained earlier by my friend, my boy, the brain, when two crests meet, e meet each other, they add algebraic plus one, creating maximum displacement this is your amplitude, maximum place, and they add algebraically. Same things happen if a crest, if a trough and a trough meet each other. They both add algebraically, making another maximum displacement. And in destructive interference, they both add algebraically in the same way, but they give you no displacement. And in nose placement, you see no color. Okay, so we all know when you look at a soap bubble or an oil spot on the ground, you see an array of bright colors. And this happens because of the reflection of the light on the thin layer and the interference that happens within the thin layer. And this is called thin film interference, abbreviated TFI, because those, because, yes, that's what it's abbreviated. And this is basically how it works. This is air right here. And this is the soap bubble or the oil. And this is air again. And this is the thin film right here. Light, a one light ray will come in at an angle like this. Part of it will reflect at the same angle. But part of it is transmitted, it comes in, it, reflect, it refracts slightly, and then it reflects off the bottom of the thin film, which is reflected back to the top, and then refracts slightly when it comes back out. And this emerges as two waves. Now, what happens on the inside here, all the colors are destructively interfered, except for the one color that you will see that these two it, the color that you will see will be these two rays, and these two rays will constructively interfere. So what happens in here, if you have destructive interference, this wave will be out of phase, and they will cancel out, canceling all the colors, except for the one that comes out here. And these two waves will be in phase, and they will constructively interfere to form one bigger wave of the color that you see with your eye, your eye being you know, over here. And that's basically how the concept works. All right, over here we have a big pool full of soap bubbles. Uh, soap bubbles, as you said before, is a great way to explain thin film interference. Um, look, as you see, when Tyler blows a bubble through his little hole, see the different colors changing in there. And watch what it does, check it out. As you can see throughout the bubble, in different spots you can see different colors. And what is that is doing is that's thin, thin film, that's thin film interference. And the different colors are determined by the thickness of the bubble. So as the solution moves around, it makes the bubble thicker in different places. You see different colors. 
and also the apparent thickness of the bubble from where you're standing causes different colors too. Look at these beautiful, beautiful bubbles. Well, we're going to show you something even clearer than that. Check this out. You see how you see different colors at different spots? You see how they run down? It gets thicker? That's constructive interference. Throughout the whole entire bubble, there's deep constructive interference, but the only times you see colors is constructive interference. Check. Oh, now watch it. Let me do it. Also, I can put the bullet up like this, cap it off, and you can see good. You can see all the different colors in there. Thin film interference. Boom. I'm trying to make it real, let's make it real quick. Pull back. Now watch this. Check this out. Almost got it. We made this bubble mixture with okay. certain different types of this is yeah. ingredients like glycerin. Home, homemade recipe. Homemade right recipe. Here. Actually, baby. not homemade. Research recipe. But it's not normal bubble mix. We had to make it strong enough so we could illustrate the the thin film interference. And it's also strong enough. Oh, are you want to stand in there? Yep. Hang on. And then you can just, you just get wild with it if you want to. All right, cameraman. Check this out, cameraman. Oh. All right. See, Tom, Tom is going to get inside the bubble. That one. We're going to put the brain inside the bubble. Go try this at home. It's very, very, very intense, complex. Alright, am I going? Alright, and another good example we did, we made a three-dimensional cube here. This was our original prototype before we got the, the idea to make a giant bubble. So I'm going to show it to you. It makes a, it makes a square bubble. Bet you never seen one of those. We can get to work properly here. You pull it up. Oh, a bunch of square bubbles in there. But it's a great example of thin film interference. And you see the lines in there? I'm sure you can. They get smaller at the bottom. That's because the solution's weighing down and it's getting thicker. Look at all those different colors you see. One more time, make sure, just to make sure you guys can see all the 